Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. My name is Elia Esparza and today has been interesting because I wanted to film this packing video for you guys. I'm going to Mexico next week and I'm doing this a little prematurely of like packing and planning my outfits but I have a busy week ahead. But it has been storming like crazy here in Nashville today like tornadoes and situations. So if the lighting is crazy, disregard. I have a nice little ring light, hopefully that will help. But if you see the sun come out or it get really dark, that's why. So I'm gonna be packing about six to 10 outfits for my trip to Cozumel, Mexico, which is basically Cancun. I'm super excited. I'm going on a fun trip for about a week. So I wanted to already just start planning my outfits and show you guys kind of the process that I do that. Specifically like how I plan out outfits. I know you guys love packing videos, travel videos as much as I do. And also just like outfit and styling videos like that's what I love. So I do have a few packing videos that I did last year for going to Europe, Amazon packing essentials and all of that like in a playlist. I'll link that down below just in case you guys want to watch more travel videos because I, every time I'm going on a trip like I literally watch so many videos just to get inspiration and maybe find trinkets here and there of like things that I can add to my never-ending travel list so this is gonna be super casual I'm literally just gonna be trying on outfits kind of like figuring out what I want and I always take a picture of my outfits and add it to my phone like on an album so that I have I can keep track of like what my outfits are and what I brought and just like different outfit ideas before we get into this video don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video I upload every single week and let's get to all right it. so I kind of just laid out a bunch of options beachy things that I already have and if I need to go do any shopping like like I'll know exactly what I have. I wanted to do this before I ordered any new clothes because I have tons of beach, vacation, island type clothing. So I wanted to make sure I kind of went through ideas before ordering anything. Okay, starting off with this dress that I just got from Princess Polly. I am so obsessed with this. I love the pattern. I actually have the short version as well, but I wanted to get the long version because I've been in my long, long dress era. So maybe I'll bring both. But I think that's like overkill because I'm not gonna wear both. Like they're both the same exact pattern. It's just that one is short and one is long. But I think because I just got this one, I'm gonna bring the long version. So cute. I, I do love this dress and like it's loose and cute. Okay, I love this set from Sister Party, which I actually have a code for that I will link down below. I got this like I think back in September and wore it one time but this is like the perfect set for something beachy like this and again like my goal is to be able to wear a bikini under everything and then just kind of take it on and off as we go through the day because I know we'll be like out and about doing activities, still be comfy. I feel like in the past I've done a lot of more neutral looks for beachy vibes but I'm feeling a lot more colorful and we are going to Mexico so I feel like that's where you want to be colorful and fun and this is so cute i'm wearing a size small set i feel like i could also just use the top if i wanted to but i love it as a set got this skirt from zara probably like three or four years ago and i've only worn it like one other time but this is like the perfect scenario for it because it's pink and it's long and again i'm in my long skirt era i love a long skirt and then I paired it with this top from Princess Polly. It's like a corset vibe. I always see it like people wear it open like this. And honestly, my bra like doesn't really fit in this. So I'll have to wear, but if I'm wearing a bikini, I'll be totally fine. Cause there's no like, it'll be easier to move around. And I love this. This is so cute. Yes, yes. Also for shoes, everything that I'm pairing it right now is with these like little white kitten heels, but I might, I'll definitely be bringing other sandals. Okay, so I also have this like wrap top, which obviously I would tie and not wear a bra with, I'd wear it just like a bikini with, and this is super cute too. Ooh, this is fun and tropical. This is fun. Okay, let me tie it, because I'll definitely need to take a picture in this outfit. Ooh, I do like this as well. I was thinking though I would pair it with this like long beige skirt if I wanted like an all neutral look. Let's try that on. Okay, this is honestly so cute. I always love my neutral looks, especially in a beach place. So this is definitely, definitely an option. And I'm definitely bringing like a bunch of gold little belts like this, just to kind of give it a little pizzazz. Belts and jewelry accessories kind of totally make up an outfit. And this is so, so cute. Love. Okay, if I was in my bridal era, this dress would be perfect. I got this dress at Forever 21 
maybe back in, I don't know, the fall. And I've been saving it for a moment. It's definitely see-through, so it'll be perfect for the beach if you're wearing a bikini afterwards. And I'm thinking honestly, like a day after the beach of just like, we're going to dinner, we're hanging out, um, something chill that I can like throw on and be comfortable in. It is a tube top. Again, you can see my bra. I should probably just put on a bikini so I can see how everything looks with a bikini, but it's so cute. I do love just kind of like an all white tube top moment. Okay, as soon as I said dinner, I was like, I need a purse. And then I found this straw hat. Then I was like, absolutely bringing this with me. It's a little janky because I think I've packed it before, but it's super cheap. So I was like, if it gets ruined or squished, like I'll just squish it and that's fine. And then I grabbed some purses. For sure, I'm bringing a tote bag, like 100%. I got this in Greece actually, and it was a lifesaver. I feel like when you're traveling, you need a light tote because you're gonna be like throwing all your stuff in. I always bring my digital camera as well and then I'm always purchasing things, you know, like souvenirs and things like that. So to have a nice little tote, also just to bring to the beach, like this is perfect. And they have tons of them online. I wish I could like link it because it was literally so beautiful and I got it in Mykonos and it's one of my favorite bags. So definitely bringing this, but like how? I'm all, how cute am I? <laughs> I also found these shoes that I have from Shoe Dazzle and they're just like fun little chunky uh, sandals. So I think I'm definitely gonna bring these, especially the rhinestone gives it like a nice little flare. Sorry if it's getting dark guys. I also feel like my true true style is, is coastal cowgirl because I love the ocean and I like Western inspired vibes with Mexico. You know what I mean? Latin, I don't know. <laughs> I also grabbed this purse. I love this purse because it's from Shoe Dazzle which is fabulous. It's actually, has so much space inside, which is amazing. Like I can fit so many things and then just carry it and it looks so freaking cute. It is really kind of big, but I do love that I can literally fit like my camera and sunscreen and like a bunch of whatever I need. If I'm buying extra things, like I'm ready, you know? And then like for a cute photo. Love it. Okay, I actually just got this set off of Amazon and it's got like a bunch of little, cherries on it it's so so cute and it's like a matching top and a matching roughly bottom i don't know if this is giving mexico but it's definitely an option or i don't know if i should just save it for something here in nashville or like a different event but it's definitely it's a contender it's just i feel like this is more like we're going to brunch we're having a good time something i don't know different than like mexico because I feel like going on vacation is like the most fun part of like really getting out of your comfort zone and like doing something a little different. And this is super fun, obviously, but I think it'd be better for a different occasion. But I'll still link it down below because it's so cute. And with my little pink purse, I love. Not it, oh my gosh, it really got dark. I'm so sorry. Okay, I put on a bikini top just to kind of like make things easier so I can like actually imagine how it's gonna be when I put the items on. Honestly, I'm gonna be in a bikini the entire time, so I might as well, like not even gonna be wearing a bra. No point in taking it. But I got this skirt from Zara recently, probably like two weeks ago, and I love, 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 love the print. So I'm thinking, it's still like more of a black, but like I was thinking this brown, no, maybe the red. This is like kind of closer, but it's still sheer top that literally can only be <laughs> at the beach. And the sun is coming back up, so <laughs> don't mind the bipolar weather. Okay, so I think the top, this black like triangle top looks best with it just to like correlate. Maybe not this purse, but for sure I like this outfit combo. Yes, I'll just have to find a purse that goes with this. Maybe like a little black purse. This is cute though. Like I said, I'm definitely gonna be bringing several like different styles. Ooh, that's cute. Yeah, with the gold bell. I do dig that. I feel like it shapes me well. This skirt is also like not thin, but it's like not very thick, which is perfect for like the kind of weather that we're gonna be in. It's gonna be like high 90s, low 70s. So this is like the perfect ideal situation. Okay, so I just got this red top off of Amazon and I really like it, but I just feel like it's like a little bulky looking and I've tried to pair it with so many different things. This is probably the cutest thing I've found so far. Maybe if I just have like a straight white skirt. I just have the skirt and the bottom, I mean, and the top. 
this like I want to make this top work somehow because I feel like this is a super light material perfect for the beach because it's see-through and if you're wearing a bikini and it's fine like it's not a big deal maybe not this skirt okay this is way better this skirt is from Princess Polly I love it because it has like a nice little slit and it doesn't go all the way down to the floor it goes like half my calf but it's like nice and fitted but super cute and then this top goes perfect with it yes 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 okay this is another option for the white skirt i added this like cute little belt gives it like a very boho vibe and then i have this tie front i think i like this more actually than the red but i'm still gonna take the red and maybe pair it with this instead we'll try that in a sec but like this is so cute it's giving like for sure beach vibes very chic but very like coastal i love it i love this so 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 much and it's dark again totally fine okay i think honestly my theme for this trip is truly like loose tops long loose skirts like that is the vibe i'm definitely gonna still bring probably two pairs of shorts like a denim pair like a blue denim pair and a white denim pair just to just in case I want to like have that but I'm truly like dresses and skirts is the vibe for Mexico for me for this trip like that is the vibe that I'm getting and I also just feel like it's more comfortable so I have this outfit so this skirt I got from PacSun last May and I wore it so so much through the summer and into the fall I wore it on my trip to Europe as well when I went to Greece last year in Turkey and I just love this skirt. I also have the short version of this skirt, but again, like I'm just a long skirt girly. Like I just love a long skirt. I just also feel like it looks really sophisticated and cute and like chic and put together. And then I just paired it with this top. I feel like, again, I could interchange it with maybe some of the other tops that I'm bringing. I did wear it with like this top at one point, but I don't want to like completely outfit repeat. I'll probably find something else to pair that with, but this is a vibe. This top is definitely like you can't, like this top definitely, like it's not much, it's literally like a piece of cloth. Okay, also loving this. I was just kind of like laying out what I have and I was like, this could be an option too. It's giving like cottage core for sure. Um, and then I wanted to show you guys these shoes that I will definitely be taking. I think I might take these instead of the sparkly ones just cause I think these are way more comfortable to walk in because I know we're gonna be walking and exploring. And these are also from Shoe Dazzle and they're just so cute and like I wear them all the time. And I just wanted to get like, bring one pair of like platform sandals, not more than one. This top is also an, a good option for this because it's a little more loose, loosey goosey. And the other top is a little more like tight, like holding everything in. And right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least eight outfits. And then, I have a couple of like mini dresses that I think I'll bring as well, you know, more for like getting in and out of the beach and things like that, that I know I can like roll up and everything will be like small and tight. This is the dress from Princess Polly. It is so cute. It's literally like a baby doll. Pretty sure I showed this in my video from last year of like spring outfits that I'm loving, which I'll link down below because I'm like, I still love all those outfits and I'm an outfit repeater. One thing about me, now that I've shopped my way into this situation, I'm like, I have a lot of clothes, but this is super cute. I'm actually thinking the only thing is like, I wish it didn't come out. I know that's like a baby doll, but I feel like it makes me look whiter. I feel like if I was wearing this with boots, that'd be cute. So I might save this one for like something here in Nashville since that's kind of the vibe. Honestly, like no wonder this dress is still so popular. It's a little see-through, but I think that's fine if you're gonna be at the beach. So don't mind if it's see-through, but it just, it's the cutest dress. Like, and I know they have like long versions. I kind of wish I had the long version, not gonna lie, but I love the top part of it. It is so cute. I love that I'm packing for a beach trip and it's literally monsooning outside. Like it's just pouring rain and I'm like, just me at the beach. Truly, the sun is back out again. Like, I'm sorry if it changes 10 million times in this one video. <laughs> okay, so I put together this red skirt. It's super fun, but again, like I'm just leaning towards more long stuff just because I know we're gonna be like out and about and walking and this one is a little bit short. So I do like the red. I wish I had a longer red skirt. 
But I'm definitely gonna take this top because I feel like this tie top will go with so, so many things. I'm also bringing this fun, sparkly dress that I got at H&M last year. I'm sure they have, I actually just saw something similar. Where did I see it? I saw something similar like this at Zara and also at Forever 21. So I'm sure there's something very, very similar. I loved it, I wore this in Mykonos when I went to Greece and it's definitely see-through. So you have to wear a bathing suit, but I was like, I'll bring this for some night pictures, sparkly on the beach moments. For sure, gonna bring a pair of linen white pants. I got these in Bershka when I was in Europe last year but I swear like they have these everywhere. You wanna have a nice pair of linen pants. All white, you can never go wrong, truly. Um, and it's just nice like if one day you just don't wanna be like in a dress or short skirt or anything like that, it's like nice to have a pair of pants to just like be cute and chicken. Oh my God, okay, now I'm getting really, really excited. And again, I feel like I could wear this outfit. This is definitely an option or I could wear several one of the other tops with this. I think the key honestly to like packing for these kinds of trips is like making sure that things are interchangeable and only bringing like a couple pairs of shoes so that you know you're gonna be able to make the most out of all your outfits. And at least that in my experience, like that makes things a lot easier. So everything's just kind of like in the same world. I mean like with a cowboy hat and a purse, I mean, that's cute. That's cute. like. Love. Maybe not that. Also, I think another really fun, cute, like Pinteresty looking idea is to take like a handkerchief like this. Could literally be any um, style and like tie it in the back. Oh, this looks so cute. And again, this could be with like white pants, white shorts, white skirt. And obviously, you can take this if you don't want to wear it as a top and just like wear it as a handkerchief. That's cute. No, because tell me why that's like a complete vibe. Yes, with a bunch of jewelry, glowy tan. <laughs> I think I have enough outfits. I just put this one on because I was like, well, let me just see something fun, frilly and cute. And this is such a vibe. I put on this like, it's very like mesh see-through pink top and it's got like a bunch of frills and it's super fun. I'm wearing it with this frilly like skirt that I showed you guys earlier that has shorts underneath, which is always super nice. And this is like fun. I can just like imagine wearing this and I'm like, okay, love, 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 love. Okay, so I've just like laid out all the outfits that I decided on in my bed so that I can just roll them up and throw them into my suitcase when the time comes to pack. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then those two are like beach dresses. And that's perfect, yes. So sorry if you can hear the thunder or the planes or the rain or all of the elements that are happening today in this video, but I just wanted to show you guys my process of how I create my outfits and get ideas and it's literally just trying things on if you ever feel like you don't know what to wear or like you don't feel like you have your own personal style it's literally just taking the time to try things on in your closet getting inspiration from pinterest and experimenting like some things obviously didn't work that i put together that work in my head and didn't work in person but that was totally fine and so i like to give myself at least a whole day or one day to like fully just get inspired by outfits and like what I wanna wear and things like that. So that way when I'm on my trip, like I'm not worried about what I'm wearing because I already have ideas and pictures along to go with that. So I know exactly what to pack, what to bring and what I'm wearing for like different occasions, depending on like, you know, what you're doing. If you're doing just a beach day or maybe you're like sightseeing and things like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will link everything down below that I can find or something similar. I always link my outfits on my LTK, my like to know it, and it's always link down below or Amazon that's pretty much the two places that I'm linking all of my outfits and things that I'm getting I do have more travel videos so if you want to check those out I'll leave those in a playlist down below I'm so excited for spring and summer and travel season let me know in the comments where you're gonna be traveling to in the next few months I would love to know I hope this video inspired you and I will see you guys in the next one I love you